Hello friends, welcome to BSC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Your subscription and likes are always motivating us. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about the course productive cultivation as well as the secondary agriculture. So I am going to cover the lecture, which is the greenhouse technology, where I am going to define its definition as well as the history and evolution and the advantages and limitations of greenhouse technology. So while seeing uh, introduction about greenhouse technology, the greenhouse technology is said to be emphasized for making a good quality products with the quantity of production need to have a ever growing food requirements in our environment. So the, both these demand can be met with the environmentally suitable culti cultivation for those plants. So the need to product the crops against the unfavorable environment is such a big cause. So they use it to develop a protected agriculture structures. So it's where the greenhouse technology used to take place. So in most of the practical methods, the greenhouse is said to be used to have the achievement of the main objective of productive cultivation. So the, where the natural environment is said to be modified based for the optimum plant growth and yields to be required in the sector, as well as while seeing the history. So the first uh, off-season cucumbers were first transplanted by Emperor Terebius in the first century. So who used to report that the productive cultivation was first made by him. So after that in 17th century, low portable frames, wooden frames were covered with oiled translucent paper were used to warm the plant environment in during the cold climatic conditions. And the first greenhouse was used with the glasses in the 70s. So where the one side is uh, a sloping roof as well as the productive cultivation which is said to be fully established with the introduction of polyethylene sheets in World War II. So and the polyethylene is used as a glass cover which was in 1948. So it was said to be discovered by Professor Emery Mayers Emmert. So who used to work in the University of Kentucky with the legs, uh, with the, which is a lessly expensive material which is used as well as replaced for the most expensive glasses. So after that in 1960 the greenhouse gas is said to be evolved for the more plant production from the environment. So it is now understood to be known as well as this controlled environment of agriculture where the CEA with the precise control of air and root temperature water and humidity and plant nutrition carbon dioxide and light are said to be known to be maintained in these protected structures so the greenhouse not to be is considered as well as the known as the plant or vegetable factories where the each and every environmental condition is optimum for the plants so while seeing i am going to give some of the definitions and uh, going uh, intro about the greenhouse technology so in this technology they use it to form a unique technique of providing favorable condition to the plants. So even in extremely adverse climatic conditions where there no crop can be grown, so man used to grow and develop growing of high value crops, which is known as greenhouse technology. So the greenhouse technology or the greenhouse which is said to be framed or inflated structures, which is covered with a transparent or translucent material, which is large enough to grow crops under the partially or fully covered controlled environment condition so where we can be able to get the optimum yield as well as the productivity of the particular crops so we have now seen about the greenhouse and now we are going to see about the greenhouse effects so in greenhouse the carbon dioxide percentage is said to be 0.0345 percentage which is 345 ppm in the atmosphere level but due to the emission of the pollution as well as the exhaust gas in the atmosphere the percentage of carbon dioxide increases in that controlled environment which is uh, which forms a blanket from the outer atmosphere so this causes the entrapping of reflected solar radiation from the earth's surface so which use it to make the light used by all the plants surrounding the surface so due to that atmospheric temperature increases which causes global warming as well as melting of ice and a rise in ocean levels. So which used to results in the submergence of coastal lines. So the phenomenon of increase in abundant temperature due to the formation of blanket of carbon dioxide 
inside the greenhouse is known as greenhouse effect so i think so you can understood that so after the greenhouse you have used to see so the advantages of greenhouse so throughout the year there are around four to five crops that can be grown in the greenhouse due to the availability of required the plant environment condition and the productivity of the crop is said to be increased considerably as well as the superior quality produce can be obtained as they were can grow under the suitable controlled environment so the quality of the plants are not said to be reduced as well as gadget for efficient use of various inputs like water fertilizer seeds and plant production chemicals are said to be maintained in the greenhouse so the requirement is fully satisfied in that environment and the control of pests and diseases is said to be possible when the area is closed so the per percentage of germination of seed is said to be high in greenhouses when compared to outer layers so but there are some of the disadvantages of greenhouse technology so they used to form high up front as well as the operation expenses so where the cost of initial investment is said to be high where the normal people cannot able to afford for all the technologies so there is a lack of pollination so because of the close environment the pollinators cannot be able to enter the field so which can be overcome by using the artificially inserting the honey bees into the chamber as well as artificially developing or placing the honey bee combs as well as the robot drones in the technology so there is a careful precaution to be eliminated for eliminating any pest or disease to make sure that the next crop won't be affected by this technology in the chamber so because if the pest or diseases is attacked you must need to remove fully over the particular area so that we can able to stop as well as prevent that particular disease to fully develop into that whole greenhouse area so these are uh, careful precaution steps you must need to take on so i have given the lecture notes in description if you have any doubts please comment in the section so if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bsc agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video thank you i will catch you up in next videos